in continuation regarding the maturity of these planets and the houses i'm going to bring a different view also for you which you can collaborate with your understanding it is known as the ptolemaic system spelled as p t o l e m a i c the ptolemaic system in the second century of the common era claudius ptolemy of alexandria used the planets based on their astrological and astronomical attributes to define what he called the seven ages of man uh, ptolemy was a genius and a student of astronomy mathematics music cartography humanity and the natural world his theory of a geocentric universe defined celestial mechanical mechanics for centuries mainly because it worked and actually it is in a museum where even i visited in the chicago museum it is there where they have put in this system that how he worked with his theory and he he was a master in astronomy he was a master in mathematics master in music cartography and he actually collaborated it with the humanity existing with the existence of man he dedicated his entire life towards this so uh, ptolemy uh, uh, believed that everything that existed is connected to everything else and is ultimately linked to the planets each planet was given attributes many of which are still used today by the astrologers of the world so this led to the concept of each person being a unique microcosm of the cosmos thus providing a model for explaining our journey through life each planet ruled a designated number of years in an individual's life see ptolemy started our life cycle with the fastest of the planets that is the moon our lunar neighbor ruled birth to the age of 4 the moon was thought of as pure and dynamic it was equated to motherhood children and protection the second phase belonged to mercury the second fastest planet and ruled until the age of 14 from 14 to 22 years of age venus took control i was once that age and i can attest to the fact that my thoughts were often about venus ruled concerns often way too much the sun took over for 19 years until the age of 41 this was an individual's time to shine and was followed by the period of mars which ruled until the age of 55 jupiter took us to 67 and saturn delivered us to into our into a journey once we complete the journey of our life so uh, ptolemy's stages of life they do make sense to me and have been expanded upon by metaphysical and philosophical thinkers throughout the ages so many such views are very popular now equating each stage with a certain animal temperament or some other sort of influence but let's start with the original let's take a look at ptolemy's system but bring it forward a couple of thousand years now incidentally i often say that the planets don't punch time clocks so there will usually be an overlapping of planetary influence so don't take a, uh, the ages that we are calculating that wo, that has to happen at 41 only or 27 only or 26 just work in and around with your own identities so now let's get into the seven stages that he explained which are a little different than the maturity of what i had explained earlier in my series now you see on the stage 1 according to ptolemy is the moon 0 to age 4 we come into life without knowledge of the world as a state of innocence as the moon brings light to dark night this period provides a first views of life sometimes the light is bright and the other times it is dim like moonlight or the moonlight during the moon's various phases it's coming up and down waxing and waning 
Today, children are exposed to a form of electronic illumination unprecedented in history. Actually, if you observe today's infant, infants who, who work much more on the smartphones and work much better and smarter on the uh, smartphones than we adults can. Now, Hermeticism teaches that the moon as a reflection of the sun is a source of possible illusion. The children of today, we hope that the children of today will find a true light to guide them on the path of their future. That's how the maturity now at the age of 15, 16 we've come. We put Jupiter first. So the stage 2 is Mercury, age 4 to 14. Mercury traditionally rules the mind, intellectual pursuits, bargaining and mischief. This 10 year period includes going to school, making friends, puberty and becoming a social creature. It was during this stage even I learned and discovered my obsessions with metaphysics or it discovered me. And I also became a, certif a, certificate, um, uh, sorry, a certified nerd which I never was complete with pocket protector and a tape on the glasses. This period is one of the most important in our lives as it often creates some of the powerful impressions that make us who we are for the rest of our days. That is why they say that having confidence and self-belief between the ages of 4 to 14 is very important. Bringing up the child with confidence is very important because these are the impressions that will actually last a lifetime. So Mercury can deceive. So it's important to remember that not all memories of the past are what they seem to be. Stage 3 is the Venus age 14 to 22. Now, it is a hormonal lunatic during the adolescent years when you are emotional, confused and desperate to find yourself. Luckily, this stage segues into young adulthood and has more of an angst in it. So Venus also deals with aesthetics, concepts of beauty, the development of certain ethics and one's worldview. In many ways, this is one of the most formative of all the stages because it sets up for whatever comes next in the world. This eight year period aids us with our sense of reality and may imprint how we view our partners as well as our friends and family, relatives and even ourselves throughout our life. It's vital that a positive self-image be nurtured during this period as the results can linger for decades and if we don't actively, actively seek changes, chances are we may regret it for life. Ages 22 to 41, our solar stage allows us to exert our power and shine in the world as adults, whatever they may mean to the individual. We have all the rights and benefits of being full grown, often without the experience and wisdom to know what to do with it. Some will use this period to gently warm their surroundings, nurturing, growing a lush garden of their life for everyone to enjoy. Others will scorch the planet with intense heat and lack of consciousness or compassion for other people. It's important to remember that for all of us, the sun gives life, but it's up to us to do something positive with that power or completely get burned with the negative and burn the others also around us. If we don't help others, we will be lost. That is why compassion and attitude of, of gratitude is important. Personal spirituality and growth is often a part of this stage, but sometimes in a very egocentric way. Now Mars is from age 41 to 55. Mars is action and is best exemplified by doing something positive in the world. During this cycle, we should be active as, uh, as active as possible and fight for those things we believe in. Unfortunately, along with this stage may come the realization that we have not found the life we thought we'd find and that things are not going precisely as expected. This is generally when a midlife crisis occurs. Men and women find themselves wondering if that's all there is, turning to physical pleasures, new cars, 
affairs or whatever else seems seemingly soothes the red hot martian energy within them many divorces occur during this stage mainly because the reason for such dissatisfactions are rarely searched for internally especially when it's easier to project our woes onto the outside world now the stage 6 which is by jupiter is from age 55 to 67 with jupiter comes the ability to sit back and look over one's life objectively and hopefully without regrets jupiter is a natural ruler and assumes a wisdom and understanding of the way things work in vedic astrology the planet jupiter is often known as guru showing it to be a teacher and a giver of life and hope it is during the jupiter stage that we can find the mastery of those pursuits we have been working on all our lives once mastery is attained the realizations of one's mortality hopefully leads to the desire and imperative to teach In the best circumstances Jupiter's stage reveals a realization of the responsibility we have to those generations that will follow us. It's our duty to be benevolent, expansive and to pass along our knowledge to those who come after. This can be a highly spiritual time in our lives and of great learnings. stage 7 which is age 67 and on ruled by saturn saturn is the pl planet of chronological time in saturn we realize the reality of our existence and true self knowledge or the lack of it youth gives way to maturity and eventually we move to a more joyful experience that can only be completely appreciated through the wisdom that comes from decades spent on this planet for some saturn age stage creates an influential and enduring presence that should be embraced by society but has unfortunately been most neglected in the west for others it's a time of bitterness and regret within the memories of those in the saturn stage is the living history of our planet now past is a prologue and the information saturn has to pass on to us is priceless the ability to embrace a saturn stage without fear and with a sense of gratitude is the reward of life well lived and well loved here is where i say there is a stage for learning a stage for earning a stage for earning and burning and the last stage for returning to the world where actually in vedic astrology it is also known as the realization of dharma uh, sorry your karma your dhana then your dharma and then you get the moksha in this order so these cycles are repeated in miniature forms every day in our lives it's possible to use the seven stages for analyzing anything for example what stage is your job right now which stage is in it if you are just starting out then you are in your moon or mercury phase how about a relationship you are in are you in the mars phase if so can you be patient enough to move into your jupiter phase or are you anxious for saturn to take over and begin again with the moon in a new relationship this entire series that i have made on the maturity of planets or on the maturity of the houses or how uh, ptolemy had also done the seven stages of life or what we have progressed further into making it into four stages of life that is the earning uh, sorry the learning the earning Uh, the earning and burning and then returning so you can enjoy your life you can do things very well and actually it takes us back to what the vedas have told us where they say it's important that a person is fulfilled with his dhana that is his money greed with his karma that is his love greed then he does dharma for the society that is returning to the world that is when he can attain full moksha so this is basically i call it a timeless system there is much that can be done with this system you are limited 
only by your imagination and your willingness to embrace a concept which is thousands of years old and it is timeless. So Ptolemy's system works and it makes sense which in today's new generation we have further put it down to only four stages of life which I actually give it to people in individuals natal charts. When the people are making their birth analysis from my chart, now this is my baby. This is my um, uh, creation where the, all these systems of I have actually zeroed in on the four stages of life. Till what time an individual is supposed to learn, till what time an individual can utilize that learning and earn and till what age an individual can earn and enjoy the money that he has earned and then eventually after a particular age he returns back to the world what he's taken from the world thus making your life complete. This is what my birth chart and my birth analysis or when I make a profile of a person through his date of birth is done. So a person is very clear about his destiny, a person is very clear about his talents and he also knows when and how to use these talents so that his potential is at its maximum. So peer inside of yourself to see the beauty of the celestial clockwork that we are all a part of you will gain more than knowledge. In fact, you can actually take life in your hands, plan it well and execute it the way that you want it. Remember that rainbow. Just as no two of us sees the exact same rainbow, none of us will experience a stage of life like anyone else. Therein lies one of the greatest benefits of this existence that that is actually being the mystery and enigma itself. Don't let anyone ever take that mystery away from you. Be a master of your destiny. Be an architect of your fate. Get your natal charts made. Know what the planets have in store for you and then color your life the way you want to.